here with me, Vanessa, from cooking.co.za. And today we're here to review Deliciously Ella's plant-based cookbook. This cookbook has become a staple in my kitchen. Uh, it was the very first ever plant-based recipe book which I received. And the recipes are just so easy, simple to follow, using everyday, day-to-day -day ingredients. What I like about Deliciously Ella in all her books is the fact that she tries to use unprocessed as much as possible. So let's dive on in and have a look at some of the recipes. So first off, you can see it's a hardcover book. I like hardcover recipe books. They tend to, you know, handle work in the kitchen a little bit better than, than soft covers. So it's a nice robust book. I, you can see, let's have a look at the table of contents. So she goes through breakfast, salads, falafels, burgers and dips, warming soups, stews and curries, sweets and gatherings and supper clubs. She also uses this nifty little color code over here which matches the, the colors used on the recipes. So you always know where you are in the book based on the, the colors. Top tip from me is I always use stickies in my recipe books. It allows me to find the recipes that I like to cook or recipes that I still want to cook. One of my favorite recipes is the banana breakfast loaf. Uh, not only good for breakfast, but for any time really. Tea time, coffee time, any time. Makes use of ripe peeled bananas and don't we all just have those overripe bananas in our fruit bowl? So just a, a really great recipe for, for any time of the day. Another top tip from me is I tend to write in my recipe books, so uh, any substitutions or additions that I made, I make notes on which pot I used or you know which pan I used, if it worked well. So the next time I go and make that recipe, I don't really have to think about what I did last time. I know I've made a note of what worked, what didn't work, and I know it's gonna be a success. What I like about this recipe book is it's got a section called gatherings and supper clubs. So now this is a section which pairs recipes together. So you'll see that when she did the Manchester Food Festival, she gives you a, a complete menu from starters, mains, dessert. Especially when you're starting out as a plant-based diet, uh, you don't always know what textures, what flavors work together. So these menu options are really great if you are going to be entertaining, having people around, or you know, just cooking that, that special dinner for you and a loved one. Menu just helps you, you know, put everything together. So that's our review of the Deliciously Ella plant-based cookbook. A great cookbook for beginners, all the well-seasoned plant-based individuals out there as well. As I said, most of the recipes are gluten-free as well, using everyday, day-to-day -day ingredients, trying to use unprocessed food as much as possible. So if you're liking these product reviews or these book reviews, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a follow on Instagram and Facebook being our main social streams. And we look forward to hearing about all your cooking adventures really soon.